My name is Limra Vanover and I am a filmmaker, writer, um, director and hopefully a script editor. Um, well, I actually didn't want to be a filmmaker, which is really um, funny. I wanted to be a lawyer. And then I ended up in filmmaking because I did a film academy course at Mouth That Draws. Um, and then everyone at, the, at Mouth That Draws told me that I was a very good director. And then I ended up doing it and I ended up not going to university. Um, and yeah, so that um, started my filmmaking career. Um, and I made like shorts and I worked on documentaries after that and yeah. Um, so that started my filmmaking career and that I was never interested in film but now I'm advocating through film. A script editor, we basically read scripts and we edit them um, and we tell writers that um, or help them basically bring out the best in them. I got um, involved with Eurus when me and Camilla started working on London Baby, um, which is a, um, a film about, it's like a love letter to London buses. And um, it's a story about a girl who um, kind of travels on a London bus um, every single day and kind of has all these experiences and she um, kind of has a love-hate relationship with them and um, it's, it's a journey that we all take in London every day, whoever travels on London buses. Um, and yeah, so we got involved with Eurus because we um, needed a producer and someone came to my mind and it was Saru. And I, um, I asked Camilla that maybe we should, uh, we should contact her because we needed a producer and I'm really glad that we did because we love her and yeah. Um, when I first went into for, for an interview, I had actually just moved in, moved, moved from Pakistan and the first challenge that I um, faced was um, that it wasn't very diverse. Um, I didn't really see a lot of Pakistani Muslim women um, who had, uh, who were disabled. Um, in a way that like I'm epileptic so I didn't really find a lot of like it's not it's not very diverse in any sense um, so that's one of the challenges that I faced um, and it's not for people who don't know how to network like you don't even know what the word network means um, yeah so you they don't you don't really um, find jobs that easily and you don't really know how to even interview for industry industries um, you kind of would wear like a suit to a studio and they just look at you like what are you doing um, you need to wear jeans to them but yeah um, uh, yeah so it, that 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 was that was my that was my challenge um, well at the minute the factors that are affecting my filmmaking is well, there, there are a lot of factors at the minute. There, um, there's racism, there's, um, there's a lot of things that are going on in the world and I want to make films that kind of matter, that make a difference. It's not just films that... I want to make social realist films as also com comedy films that I'm making, like London Baby. Um, at the minute, like for example, I just recently made an Islamophobia awareness film. Um, like I want to make films that matter. So, which is why I think factors like that influence my decision to make films. Well, my advice to aspiring filmmakers is that always use film as um, as an expression. Um, as a self as a self expressive medium um as something that you can express yourself with um uh, always tell your perspective um because everyone has their own perspective 
you always have a story to tell, so please tell your story, um, especially to people who come from different backgrounds, because we've heard stories from um, white middle class people for a very long time. And I think people from different backgrounds, we need to hear your stories. So I think that's why I've come into the industry and that's what I want to do. So I think, yeah, that's my advice to everyone. My top three tips to an aspiring filmmaker is um, always tell your story, tell your, like, um, be very um, confident in yourself um, and network because people want you to talk to them, even if you think that they don't. I don't have a um, special film that inspired me to do filmmaking, but I do have a favorite um, director who has inspired my films, who's Ken, Ken Loach. I really do really like his films. I think that he makes a difference when he makes a film. Um, and yeah, I want to work with him and I want to work with Riz Ahmed. Um, yeah, those are the two people that I really, really want to work with. Riz Ahmed on top, but yeah. <laughs>